Welcome everybody back for some more Hydroneer on the channel. So off camera I have done a bunch of, well, sitting around waiting for the machine to do stuff. Um, the machine's been running for a little while. I have made a couple of bars. There is two sat in here and I've also made two more of each bar. So two extra iron bars and two extra of the gold bars. I have taken them and sold them. And in today's episode, obviously this machine that might not work for the entirety of the time I am away from it. But in this episode, we're going to be digging. I've dug a little bit of a hole down into the ground. And I'm going to hopefully head over to the forging area of this game. And hopefully forge us some new tier 1 machines. Now, I don't want to go too crazy with the, the tier 1 machines. Just because I know that essentially I'm going to be getting rid of them. I think I can take a little bit of a shortcut going up here. Hopefully the truck can make it. And it should bring us out near this road. Unless I've just discovered a completely new area of the map. But yes, if we go up here... And it should take us to the front of the forging area. So, go ahead and reverse park our vehicle in here. Like so. It should park us in a perfect location for collecting the forged items. So, let's go ahead and make our way down. Pretty sure we can't get down there um, ourselves without using this elevator. But we can sort of... Also skip the elevator because we can't take full damage. We'll jump down here and head off to over here. Because I've actually already purchased the items that we're going to be needing in this video. So, I purchased the tier 2 ones just for future reference. And I've just got a tier 1 here. It says it needs 300 iron. And I believe this one weighs about 300. Not 100% sure, but I should be able to... Go ahead and... Oh, he, he doesn't like it. Pretty sure it weighed 300. What does it need to be like? Perfect on there. Pretty sure it weighed like 600. So I'm a little bit confused here. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go ahead and buy ourselves a weighing scales. Hopefully I've got enough change over here to get a weighing scales because I was pretty sure that weighed over 300 but well, obviously not 100% sure I did spend like an hour basically waiting for that to go ahead and be a correct weight uh, can I buy scales in here I don't have any change left oh it's all gone mad I need some weighing scales and I haven't got any weighing scales and you can't buy them from here grand Anyway, I'll see you guys in a moment when I can figure it all out. So I've headed back to my previous claim. I've got myself another iron bar, which is exactly 380 something. I've also brought the weighing scales just so I can essentially double check that I've got the right one. I'm pretty sure it's iron and not gold. I don't see why it would be gold because of, um, of the icon that's actually on there. You also can't like mixed stuff so it shouldn't be wrong as well kind of like the fact that i found that shortcut as well saves me driving a long long way kind of wish we could build anywhere and you could build like a little ramp up there kind of makes sense why you can't though so i'm gonna go ahead and once again park this i'm actually gonna park it here because i'm going to send the i was gonna say i'm gonna send the bar down I'm not sure it will. It does. I'm going, to set, I'm going to take the weighing scales with me because I'm pretty sure that that's going to take it. It would have taken that bar 
down further, like further than it needed to go. We needed to, it's going to be down at the bottom instead of like right here. Yeah, so I'm going to put this one here. There we go. And quickly go ahead and get our way down here. Go get that bar. Which will be just over here. Kind of wish we could uh, put it further up so it doesn't need to have to come all the way down here. But it's not too far of a walk, to be honest with you. Different layers, different levels and stuff would be nice. But, you know, this bar is currently like 300 and something in weight. So hopefully, fingers crossed, if the weight on the side of that machine over there works then this is 300 and then the other one is also hopefully 300 so this one is 338 and then this one i think was like 600 and something so in theory it should be just over nine yes so that will give us the ability to make like drills oh, I need to... not gonna let me do it because put that there and then we can make three extra drills and hopefully fingers crossed So confused. It says three hundred. Doesn't say anything else about anything else. Boom. Okay, I don't need anything else for that. Why? Three hundred iron. Three hundred iron. This weighs nine hundred and seventeen. Oh, that's the price of it. Yeah, you lot are all shouting at me in the comments for that one. It's gonna take a long time for us to craft some some drills, isn't it? Right. Let's go back to the surface. Let's throw this up here. I wish you could use it ourselves, but we can't. I'm going to take our money that we have left over as well. Can we use this? No. That would be good. So the weight is 80. Um, I'm also going to take this because we need this again back at the top. And I think for next time we're going to need this pallet so we'll take that as well obviously leaving that at the top be good and then we can just carry it back down and I'll see you guys back at the claim so once again heading back to our claim I'm a hundred percent sure that these machines will be completely broken and will need a little bit of repair at least if they are not the pipe system will not be functioning because I'm in hole. Um, no, uh, because they require repairing based on the stuff back here. And I'm almost positive one of these is potentially broken, but in this particular instance I am wrong. Um, let's get that bar out the back of the truck. Here it is. And, uh, Pick it up and bring him over here. Dunk him in there. I'm going to quickly turn my machine off. Pick up this little barrel here. 
and dunk all that in there like so. There's a bunch more in this hole as well, but we're not too worried about that stuff at the moment. We can always get a magnet and get it out eventually. Right, so we can dunk this one out, pick him back up. That's going to be absolutely boiling. I've picked up the wrong thing. Put that over there, pick you up. And I can weigh you in the back of the truck. I cannot weigh you in the back of the truck. You now weigh a total of 112. So we're going to need a, a lot of time, which is why I think people don't like playing this game, because... It takes a lot of time to do anything, especially with one machine, and then you have to wait for this one machine to make all of the stuff that you need for the rest of the stuff in the game. The gold seems to be going okay. I kind of think that I want to just wait for a bit, so a little bit of a failed episode, I suppose, but you can show me, I can show you the plans for the future in a moment. So let me get set up for that. Let me fix some machine and I will show you that in a moment. So back to the shop I went. Pick up the repair tool. Repair absolutely everything. Repair kit all gone. And I can show you what's down here. You will not be able to see anything, so I'm going to have to go and buy, again, something else that is not needed, really, for what we need to do. We've got 438 money left, but we do have machines making money. So I don't have to do anything. Yay! So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a mining hat. Here we go. And that was literally all our money. How do I wear this hat Q? There we go. So now you guys can see what we have going on down here. So, down in these little pits, I have started digging out a little area. So we've got a pipeline that's going to come down here into this area. And then obviously our conveyor belts will go up here eventually. This is going all the way down to tier 2 dirt. So if I was to go ahead and get my, is this one tier 1 or is this one tier 2? That's my tier 2 pickaxe. This one is my tier 1 pickaxe. So if I go ahead and go down to the bottom here, it won't. Oh, no, it can. Okay, so... The clean one doesn't go all the way down to tier 2 dirt. Kind of makes me think that there's no real point going ahead and, 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 and making essentially what I was going to do. Anyway, my point is, is obviously the lower you get down, the more likely you are to get the bigger, better resources. So I was going to get like two, I think I might just get two mines. So get myself, um, get myself another mine and then set two of them up down here, get some conveyor belts going up here, if I could even get up here now myself, and make it so they all go ahead and make their way up into one of these crucibles, I think they are called, no, these are smelters, make themselves go into a smelter each, so then we can go ahead and get that all automated, which we can also then go ahead and go to the next claim, which I believe is the one that's, not the ice one, but sort of the one that's over here sort of next to the other town if that makes sense and then we can go ahead and start making some stuff over there so this thing is running and it's going to take a long time for me to actually get any of the resources that i needed i really did not estimate i underestimated exactly how much time this is going to take but i obviously also knew it was going to take a lot of time a lot of time because i've watched other people play it and a lot of people do complain about how long it takes to do anything in this game i also can't just like i don't think i can I'll just like stand up here and then dig and then place no it will just fill it all up
of stuff and it will not work. So that's going to have to wait. Now, it's not all doom and gloom because I really wanted to also try and make something using the thing on here. So to make a little dagger, we need a block of any type. To make a sword, and oh, we can make a we can make an S word or sword or whatever you want to call it. I think I might just make a gold dagger. So it's going to be quite an expensive dagger. Uh, and I'm a gold blocks at the other plane. Uh, so let's quickly turn our machine off so we don't lose any of this gold in production wise. We'll go ahead and pick this up. Uh, make sure that all of our iron is put to a separate location. Pick up the gold. Put that in there, and then we'll throw this back in the hole. I was going to say, hopefully it lands relatively well. Put that in there, and go ahead and give ourselves a huge block of gold. Now the gold is going to be worth quite a bit because I think that's been going for a little while. Yeah, one thousand and three hundred and ten. Um, but then we head over to here, plunk that on there, get ourselves the hammer out of the back of the thing. Dink. Oh, that's not going to be hot enough, is it? Plunk it in there. Get it all nice and hot. Straight out of there, straight in there. Mm -hmm. Just straight there, straight there, and boom. Okay, Eva, I'm doing this really wrong. Which realistically is probably the case, but I'm pretty sure it's not. You go on there. You go in there. You then obviously melt, heat up. Boom, boom. Okay, now we just sit, <laughs> wait for it to get hot enough, I suppose. But I'm pretty sure you can use like any. There we go. So now we have a gold dagger which I'm not sure you can weigh but I'm going to weigh anyway so the block was like 1000 and something this one is like 100 pound 100, 100 monies more so we're going to go ahead and sell this now I'm pretty sure if we sell it to the jeweler it will be worth a little bit more but we're not going to sell it to the jeweler I know that sounds silly but we're not going to sell it to the jeweler we're just going to come up here and sell it to this person up here Which is the guy that'll sell me it for the 1400 If you go to the jeweler, obviously it'll be worth a lot more. So I just wanted to see how that works and see how much money you'd get from actually putting it into a turning it into something instead of selling it as it was. And you get about a thousand more money for it, but I don't think it's particularly worth much time and effort to do it for every single item so we'll put our money in the back of the truck just so we know where it is and obviously we've got ourselves the iron bar here and we obviously have got to sit and wait for enough stuff to come through Let's see how we're looking at the moment Turn that in there, pick that up, and 
we should have 148. Great. So this is going to take a very, 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 very long time to even do anything in this game. I'm not sure the tier 2 pipes are making it any more efficient, but I'm also pretty sure it's not making it any more inefficient than it would be anyway. So, I'm not too sure what to tell you about that. So, this project under here is going to have to wait till the next episode. I'm going to have to sit and I'm going to have to wait for this to produce me a lot more resources. Yes, I sold the gold and I can't sell the shards. But there's a lot of shards in there as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy it anyway. And I've definitely learned a lot. And uh, yeah, this game takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to play and get anything done. Which I kind of knew, but I still wanted to give it a go because I've watched it a lot. And I kind of like playing it, to be honest with you. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time for some more time waiting and energy wasted. But yeah, we should have it all done, and I'm going to get it all set up, so we're just building in the next episode, hopefully, and I'll get everything ready for us. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.